Today was one of the most interesting days I've ever experienced in the stock market. I am 25 years old. I've been investing since about 21. So I'm relatively new to a lot of the things that happen in the stock market that have historically happened over time. And today during my morning live stream, I realized how fragile the infrastructure is for particularly the New York Stock Exchange, given the type of crash that we saw. Palantir went from $7.38 down to $6.13. It was a 16.9% decline in a matter of seconds. Trading was halted on Palantir. Shopify was halted. Uber was halted. McDonald's was halted. AT&T was halted. Teladoc was halted. All of these are New York Stock Exchange stocks, and they were halted really randomly out of nowhere, and their prices all declined from about 10 to 15%. Now, the funny thing is, while this was happening, uh, I was doing my morning live stream that I do every day at 9.20 a.m. Eastern, and I didn't realize that it was happening. And so as a result of that, I was talking about NVIDIA's forward PE versus uh, what was going on in the market. Take, take, take a look at this. In tech, and sometimes you just want to bet on that. But it also does feel like the premium you're paying on. I mean, they're, they're, it's a 58 forward PE. It's like, it's a little, when you got Tesla at a 25 PE, it's a little expensive to be paying for something like NVIDIA. And then you think about NVIDIA's growth compared to Tesla. It's like, I don't know if it's going to grow as much as Tesla. So we will see. Um, wait, what happened? And it was in that moment he realized he messed up. What happened? Why are you guys, I mean, look at Palantir. What happened with Palantir? Oh, shoot. I didn't see your, I didn't see what you guys were saying. What happened with Palantir? Oh, Palantir dropped. <laughs> my phone's not near me so like literally my reaction was like i don't even understand why this is happening all i could do is laugh i'm like well, well pounder's down 70 percent. why is that happening and apparently it was because of what had happened with the new york stock exchange so pounder then recovered i believe right now it's trading at around 7 27 25 i actually bought a little bit of a dip i bought like 15 shares at seven dollars and 18 so i got a little bit of a dip i know some people that actually were able to buy it at six dollars 13 cents and were up 20 percent on their investment within a couple of minutes which is crazy but that is what happened uh, this morning in the stock in, in the stock exchange. Now let's get some actual information for why this happened. This is the first time Several I've ever seen stocks decline this dramatically for no reason outside of either a reverse split. I experienced that. That was painful. Or uh, the COVID 2020 crash when things declined. But that you could expect. I mean, the COVID, the world is ending, all this stuff. But this randomly on a on a morning on a, on a Tuesday, no one no one really expected that. Stocks of the New York Stock Exchange getting halted earlier this morning due to a, quote, exchange-related issue. Let's get to Bob Bassani and see if anything's cleared up about this today. Hey, Bob. Uh, I don't have a formal statement from the NYSE. I just got back from the ramp. The ramp is the colloquial word we use for the technology platform at the New York Stock Exchange. It's, it's over here. There's a lot of tech people and uh, a lot of floor officials standing around discussing, number one, what exactly happened, and number two, how to deal with any issues that occurred uh, at the open. And again, I don't have a formal statement. I have asked them, and I am waiting for that. But here is my impression of what happened. Remember, at the stock exchange, all quotes happen, all the prices happen at once at the open. There is a single price at the open. And what happens is everyone puts in their orders to buy and sell, and based on those orders to buy and sell, a single price is determined at the open. What appears to have happened to me is that many of the orders that would normally go into the book, as we call it, to buy and sell to determine the opening price did not get in. We don't know why. As a result of that, many stocks opened with very little volume and had crazy prices. We immediately went to what's called a limit up, limit down situation on many stocks. I wonder if you could put up Mosaic for me, because this is a very good example. Of course, this is one of the big material names. So look at that. So Mosaic opened, closed yesterday at $48.35. It opened this morning around $40. Uh, it was a rather remarkable open here, $40.29. Now, we're talking about, you know, that's an $8 difference in a $48 stock. That was immediately halted on a limit up, limit down. They halt them for about five minutes, and then they attempt to reopen. On the reopen, as you can see, the stock traded about $48. It went back close to where it was. So here's the problem. What's the opening price here? It appears that the opening price is probably erroneous since many of the orders, it appears for it, did not appear and was not priced properly. So is the right price $40.29, which is the opening price right now, or is the right price the opening after many of the orders seem to have gotten in and it was around $48? roughly where it was yesterday. This is the kind of issues they're grappling with right now. So that's so this was a super interesting thing that happened today with the New York Stock Exchange. And kind of my take on everything that has happened is the fragility of the infrastructure of the system. 
I mean, at the end of the day, these are billions of dollars of market cap. You talk about a $48 stock losing $8. That's a lot of money. You know, Tesla losing $8 is a lot, but a stock that is much smaller than Tesla, that's not $140. When you lose $8, that's that's a significant portion of, of your overall stock price at the end of the day. And so if you bought it right at the morning open uh, and, and you know, you immediately get halted or you, you're all automatically down $8 on your order in, within seconds or you're going back up, it's like, how does this all happen so randomly? And I think one of the interesting things here to understand is that the fact that the stock market works every day is kind of a miracle. The fact that there are buyers and sellers, people are willing to buy, people are willing to sell, people are willing to fulfill orders. You've got market makers in the middle and you can, you know, there's, market makers are a very controversial subject, but nonetheless, they help the market go around. They help make the earth spin. The fact that it works every day is, is honestly incredible. And when there's glitches in the system like there are today, it brings up two questions. Number one, is there something greater than just a technical glitch? And I am I tend to be not that conspiratorial, so I wouldn't imagine that this was on purpose. I don't imagine that someone was trying to hack into the market, especially because it was only a subset of stocks. We didn't see the entire market crash. But nonetheless, you can't rule it out a possibility that maybe there is something a little bit erroneous going on. Granted, I, I think it's, it's more of a technical issue. If it is a technical issue, then the question becomes, what type of technology that is automated and legacy oriented is the NYSE uh, using to be able to conduct these types of things? Now, I don't know everything about their technology from what I've heard. It is pretty automated. It's not something as advanced as what people would be using today, especially in the financial services industry, because it's worked for so long. So, you know, you kind of why stop something that's not working. But as today, we see it wasn't working. And in those five minutes, if you go watch my morning live stream, I'll link it in the description. Um, within within the first five, six minutes, it was just like, what is going on? The sky is falling because these are people. I mean, people have a lot of money. I was down $3,000 within two seconds today. I was like, what's going on? Like, that's not supposed to happen, especially as the entire market has rallied. And we've had a bit of a momentous um, week uh, for, for the market, the S&P touching 400, NASDAQ hitting 11,300. So you don't want to expect something like this to happen today, even though it did happen. My one thing that I would argue could probably save a lot of these issues from happening in the future, potentially, is if the New York Stock Exchange adopted Pound to Foundry and uh, <laughs> was running on technology that is not as old, maybe it would solve these things. I'm being a little facetious here. But, you know, my point here is that it, it does show you how antiquated some of these systems are and how fragile the overarching market system is to lose billions of dollars eight dollars on a forty dollar stock that's billions of dollars i don't know what the market cap is but that's a lot of money being lost in a matter of seconds simply because of a glitch and then it just comes back to normal like it never went away it almost makes you feel like this is a monopoly it almost makes you feel like this is just a game that we're playing with financial services where billions can go up and down in a matter of seconds and it can either disappear or it can come back and people can make a lot of money from it or they can lose a lot of money from it in the short term so very interesting day hope this brought a little bit of clarity of what happened thank you all for joining the morning stream we had about 450 people there that was awesome and it was it, it's one of those things where it kind of brings the community together when you have an event that happens that everyone kind of wants to know what's going on so it was really nice to have a little bit of a community event on this channel today and uh well palantir didn't drop 17 percent in a day so that's a good thing thank you so much for listening watching i'll see you guys in the next one